Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a good old Texas travel vlog. I'm so excited to bring you guys along this time. So let's get the morning started and get ready for our flight. Taking my morning goodies, you guys know the drill. Um, I have to leave for the flight at 11.30. Really, we have to leave at 11.45, but I'm telling myself 11.30 because you guys know how I operate. So it is just now 8 a.m. So I think we've got plenty of time. Today is Friday, which means it's my upload day. So I worked real hard yesterday to get that vlog ready for you guys. I do have an unedited vlog that can go live on the Tuesday that I'm flying home. Making some coffee. Making some coffee. You want some? No. <laughs> I have to pack all my supplements, so I'm gonna leave them out. Sorry, I'm in your coffee spot. No, no, no you're good. I definitely want to bring um, eye drops. Been needing those. My hair vitamins. I want to pack some allergy pills. Are you gonna do some house stuff when I leave? You can set up our new things. Uh, what's your things? Our smoke alarms. <laughs> yeah, I have that on my list, and I need to set up our new. Uh, what is it called? That ring keypad. I want to hang yeah. out on the wall too. That too. Okay, I'm out of your spot. Go. Since I stayed up editing and filming content for you guys for a while I'm gone, I did not pack. So that's fun. So we're gonna pack in the morning that I leave, which is actually crazy of me, but you know, I'm not surprised. But so I'm gonna pack all my supplements. So how many mornings? Uh today I took them all. It's today four. Friday. So Saturday morning, Sunday morning, Monday morning, Tuesday morning. Okay, so four. <gasps> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit them all in there. I might have to. Wait, you wanna take my thing or no? No. Day four, day, wait, four? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Oh, okay. So that's enough, right? I gotta double count that. Trust. I need my seed. Cranberry, cranberry one. I don't remember if I just took it. Were you filming yourself? I was. I guess I could watch back. Yeah, you could look back. The problem is I'm gonna have to dump these all out every morning because now they're layered. All right, I'm gonna go downstairs and start working, so I'll see you. Okay. Done. <laughs> Have a good lesson. Allergy pills. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna take one right now. I have to watch back this footage to see if I took my cranberry. Okay, wow, I took it and I totally didn't think I did, so I almost just oh it's eat on cranberry pills. That would have been crazy. I've also been taking these hair and energy vitamins too in hopes to get this hair looking better. Now it looks like pretty full now that I chopped it all off. It's looking a lot thicker, so that's good. It's a close squeeze, but we did it. Look at my little seed travel vial. It fit all my goodies for four days. That's good to know I can only fit four days in there. I'm gonna have to get something for Italy for sure. I'm being a little risky and I'm not rinsing my tan off because I wanna soak in it more and I'll just rinse once I get to my sister's after I land. And also like, just like, I just have too many things to do this morning. So uh, rinsing my tan off is not on my priority list. I usually soak in it for like a whole day after I sleep in it anyway. All right, now that we've got our little morning routine done, we're gonna head into the office. I watched back the vlog for the most part yesterday i have about 10 minutes left i was getting really tired i'm gonna finish watching back this vlog make a quick thumbnail i already did the title link so we are on the right path it is 8 10 a.m hopefully i can finish this by 9 and then get to packing and then i gotta get make sure i remember to put the footage on that laptop for my other vlog i am excited to also read i started the housemaid by frida mcfadden it's another thriller which i wanted to read a love story but i was waiting for the libby app to make one by Emily Henry, I think her name is, available. And I started reading Freedom McFound on the day before, and the next day that book was available. So I was like, well, I'm already like 30 pages in, I can't just stop, and I'm really interested in it, so I didn't want to stop. So, and I know it's like a, a sequel, right? There's two books. Such an easy read, like I'm flying through it. So I think I'm gonna get through that book for sure on this trip, maybe the second one, on like the flight home, because on this flight now I have like stuff to do on my computer and my phone and stuff. I'm definitely gonna fly through that book on this trip because it's so good so far it's about like a maid that gets hired at this woman's house and she it's actually based on long island the house which is so cool except in the book she said in long island i'm like it is on long island if you're a long islander you know it is not in long island it's on long island but um no that's funny i don't really care that much but yeah this author's cool because she's actually like a not a brain surgeon i said that on the podcast and that was wrong a brain specialist or something like that like she's like a doctor and then she writes books on the side like how cool is that but yeah really easy read so she gets hired at this house but like 
there's a bunch of secrets that get unveiled and it's a little bit like creepy like she's like mm, maybe i shouldn't be working here like there's just some creepy stuff that starts happening i'm only 50 pages in but i'm like already intrigued and it's one of those books that starts with a like six months after and then it goes six months earlier so you're like reading the whole book waiting to get to that part of like why that first chapter happened you know anyways okay i'm gonna go finish my vlog now so that i'm not late to my flight i do have tsa pre-check so i get through security very quickly but still, I want to get there an hour before. All right, video is ready to go live. It is now 9.50, so we need to hurry up. I'm doing my gratefuls really quick. Last one before I go. We're already grateful for planes because that's so cool that I can get on one and be in a whole nother state uh, in a few hours. That's pretty cool. I'm also grateful for my laptop because I was like, oh, now I'll be able to get everything done before I leave. And then I'm like, I can literally bring my laptop. That's so awesome. And then I'm also grateful for my new haircut. Okay. I need to do a quick rinse of this tanner off my face before we leave too. I need to make sure I do that. I'm going to pack this with me. So I'm going to bring it. We got to get to packing. Let's do it. I have one more load of laundry that's in the dryer. So I'm going to get that in my basket. I am definitely bringing my Brooklyn crew neck for show. So I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, I'm dropping everything. All right, let's pack. All right, moving right along. I just did a quick rinse so now my face is looking a lot more normal. I'm gonna do like a two minute makeup. And when I get there, we're just gonna go out to dinner and then settle into the house. Like we're not doing anything crazy. I don't need to be ruddy when I get off the plane, so. Just do some moisturizer. I'm gonna do some of this Rare Beauty like highlighter glow stuff. And then I'm gonna use the Hourglass Primer and kind of blend that in together. Also, yes, my hands are quite dark, but I wash them a million times a day, so they'll fade literally by tomorrow. They'll be normal color, so I'd rather them be a little darker so that they fade to the right color. I should stop just even explaining myself about my tanner stuff to you guys, because I feel like I'm always, like, tanning and having, like, little mishaps, and it's like, if you see something, don't say something. We always have time for a brow snatch. We're gonna get a little bit of coverage on this face. I'm gonna use the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. A little bit of concealer. Okay, just so we're not missing color from the face, just a little bit of contour. I like just a quick light makeup, it'll be fine. Here I am, almost done, almost done. You just need to add color back to the face a little bit so we don't look so flat. We're gonna powder that so that it doesn't get everywhere. Curl the lashes and then mascara and then we're gonna pack. We are dressed for my airport ensemble today. I'm going for all black because I am in my tanner still, so I don't want to get it everywhere. But just leggings and my Amazon tank, and I'm going to wear a zip-up. I'm actually a little bit chilly right now. Maybe I'll just put it on now. I think I'm going to go for this, like, brown zip-up. This is, like, old from H&M a few years ago, but I love her. I'm going to be very careful that I don't push you guys off the island today, all right? Yep. Got my new luggage. We have a lot of space in here. So I'm just gonna get to packing real quick. Put everything in my packing cube. Start with the stuff I just rented. If you missed the last vlog, I tried it all on. That's the stuff I know I'm definitely bringing. Let's try this out. Can I fit more? Is that too much? Is that not enough? Okay, I feel like I could definitely fit more in there, but for now, we're gonna keep it at that. We're gonna do undies and stuff. Okay, I actually hate this method. So I'm gonna take this off and I like to lay everything out on the island and then pack it all. I like to visually see piles like pajamas, undies, like lay it all out and then I'll pack. Okay, I'll be back once I get this all figured out. Whoops, sorry guys. I got everything laid out and then I decided that I wanted to do one of those like satisfying ASMR packing videos. So I got everything set up like on the chair over there's all my accessories and stuff. There's some stuff over there. So it was laid out quite nicely and I forgot to show you, but now we're going to pack it all up. So let's do some ASMR packing. One done. You already know, I had to bring this t-shirt and my babies. How's it going, baby? Pretty good. Not good? Pretty good. Oh, good. Okay, I made 
somewhat of a disaster, but we're all packed up. I actually think I'm going to switch from my laptop bag to the backpack. I think that'll be way more practical because it can close. I have my laptop in here. I'm going to put my camera. It's going to be heavy on my arm. So I think the backpack might be better. But here's my luggage. We're doing good. Are you impressed with my packing cubes? I love it. I get so much stuff. So organized. Yeah. So satisfying. One's like my undies, one's like my clothes, and there's still so much room. That can go on this side. My flight got delayed 20 minutes because another flight was delayed, so now my plane's coming in late. So I'm like, on this side? Yeah, it's fine. Put on zip it. I'm like, since we have a second, actually, and my luggage is 38 pounds, and I have space, I might as well bring my tripod so I can get like little outfit videos and stuff at my sister's. That'd be helpful. I should get one that's more like travel friendly too. A tripod? Yeah. Yeah, you could. Yeah. I, we have an extra one. No, but like one that's like, instead of that one has does like three prongs, one that does one single prong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I have an extra one that condenses a lot. That's fine, it fits and I have space. Yeah, I'm saying for the future. I can't believe how much space I had. I'm so impressed with myself. All right, I switched to the backpack. I think it's so much better. Also, I changed my sweater. I'm still debating, I don't know. And then also I have like my little mini phone stand that goes on a table. It folds up so nicely. So I'm gonna bring that as well. I fit my laptop, my travel pillow, my chargers. And then in this front pocket, I put things that I would want like easily accessible. I got like my AirPods, my phone charger, my Kindle, my wallet. I'm gonna be careful though that I don't get someone unzipping this and taking my stuff out. Much more comfortable to carry around. Cute, it's cute. I like it. All right, we are ready to go. Here's the airport fit, leggings, flip flops, and my sweater. I have a tank top under here in case I get hot. I forgot my sanctuary and a makeup rig for when I do my makeup. So that's gonna get shoved in the luggage. And we are out of here. Let's go to Texas. All right, we have made it to LaGuardia. Good thing my flight was delayed 20 minutes because it is now 1 p.m. My flight takes off, it was, almost two now it's 2 20. so i'll have plenty of time to check in get my bag checked which i already paid for and then go grab a bite to eat because i'm so hungry and then get on the flight i got today's vlog live too so we're doing great oh my god i will say also when i was packing i was like you know what let me just check the weather one more time i for some reason in my head thought it was going to be a little bit like cooler there and i'm like oh my god it's still 90 degrees in Texas. I pivoted a little bit and added like a few like more summery items and I was gonna pack like these two sweaters and I was like I'm literally not gonna need that at all. It says like the low is like 73 but that's probably at nighttime so I'm like it's gonna be still so hot so I'm glad that I looked. I love you so much. Have a safe flight. Listen, travel safe, be safe. Can you on everything please? Of course. I love you so much, All right, I love you more. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so sad by myself. Best thing I ever did, TSA pre-check. I already got my bag checked. We are moving and grooving. Backpack was a 10 out of 10 decision. We are through security. It is 116. Gonna pee, eat, and go to my gate. <laughs> Look who I spot. You know I would buy one if I didn't already own them all. <laughs> You already know I walked a little bit further away to get the good brand of kettle chips. I got a ciabatta sandwich and a water. We made it, you guys, and look what Sissy was blasting. Where's the... Okay, no copyright, no copyright. <laughs> Something's telling me this ain't over yet. Texas, here we are. Woo! Howdy <laughs> do! Beyonce, here Woo! we go. Yeah. We have made it. Have you? Oh no. In the hot tub? Oh, it's so warm here. It's weird. Chris built that fence. So bad. <gasps> wow. We're going to go hot tub swimming. I've been very excited to meet you. Oh. My sister adopted a new dog. Hi, Melvin. Hi, Melvin. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Melvin. Nice to meet you, Melvin. Okay, come on, Melvin. Okay, Melvin. Come on, Melvin. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I got my got my belt for Beyonce. Let's see if it fits. Will it even hold the dress? I don't know. We'll get. Mm. Took 45 minutes to get all dressed up. Oh, it's cold. Oh, I think this is gonna work. Oh yeah, because I can hook it wherever I want. That's cute. Should I go out to dinner like this tonight? Please don't. <laughs>
Melvin. Melvin. Does it remind me of his name? Reminds me of uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alvin. Yeah. Call him Alvin sometimes. Melvin. You guys, they fostered him, and then they ended up keeping him, and he's like 10 years old. That's so nice. Oh, his little dance. Okay. He do does he shake his butt? Oh. Do you tap dance? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at the tootsies. Look at the tootsies. Oh my god, look at the tootsies. Oh, that's so cute. You have a lot of talents. Howls and top dancing. All right, here's my little humble abode for the next few days. This is their guest bedroom. I've got a bunch of closet space. Is there anything in here? Can I put my stuff in here? Mm, there's some stuff in that one. Maybe I can use this one. I put my stuff in this one. Tell me she's already buying Christmas gifts, this girl. Oh, maybe they're for decoration. Actually, they're probably empty. I brought so much stuff. We're about to go out to dinner and then go to a place and grab a drink. Don't know what I'm gonna wear though, but I definitely need a refresh. Oh, it's upside down. Hold on. Okay. Look at my little packing cubes. I'm so proud of them. They look great. So glad I brought this. I'm just gonna set it up in this room so I can get content where I need to be. Last minute also, I threw in a pair of sneakers when I was running out the door. Cause I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even bring one pair of sneakers. So I definitely wanted to have that. I'm just gonna leave this like over here set up. Nice. And then we've got my toiletry bag that we packed. I can just hang this. Oh, I got my ice roller. How convenient. My purse. Got my shoes. Okay. Need this. I'm probably gonna change right now, but still, I need that after all day. If I get all my stuff out, then I'm organized. If I don't, my suitcase becomes an absolute disaster within like 10 minutes. It's really bad. On my sunnies, I brought a hat just in case. I'm just gonna take all my packing cubes out for now. These were amazing. I fit so much stuff. Oh my goodness. I like to empty out the suitcase. Now this can get zipped up and go in the corner of the room until I'm ready to go home. Okay, here we are. I've made myself right at home. I've got my stuff hanging there, all my toiletries and everything. Oh, and then I have like my laptop and my chargers in here. Amazing, we're all set up. All right, now it's getting kind of late, so I just did like the quickest refresh. I like unpacked and everything. I like put on a little bit of eyeshadow, a little bit of bronzer. Then I brushed through my hair and put some hairspray in it. So it would give it like a little bit more volume. And then I just did like a quick change. Sorry, it's super dark because it's nighttime, obviously. Jeans and then this little top from Forever 21. And then I'm wearing my little green bag. And I've just put on flip flops just to keep it cash because the other shoes I have, I mean, I could wear sneakers, but it's warm here and I'm just gonna wear my black flip flops. So that's my little fit. We're gonna go out to dinner. I think we're gonna get Texas barbecue and then we're going to Bar Grazi, 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 which is a chain. We have one on Long Island too, but they have a DJ that comes at nine o'clock, which it's 825 already. So we're gonna go eat, go dance a little bit, have some fun sister time. I'm gonna leave you guys home. I'll film on my phone so I can just enjoy the night and be free handed. But yeah, I'm excited. First night here. I'm ready to chow down. I haven't eaten since before my flight. I had like two little snacks on the plane. So girl is hungry. Let's go. All right. We have made it. What is this called again? Tell me. La Sentera. It's like a shopping center with restaurants and stuff. We came here, um, like, I don't know, one time when we were here in Texas. In December. In December, yeah, we went to Perry's Steakhouse. But we're gonna walk around, find somewhere to eat. Oh, how nice. It is Christmassy vibe, but it's literally so humid. <laughs> it's not giving Christmas vibes at all this weather. It's like sticky vibes, but um, everywhere here, bless the air conditioner, so we'll be fine. All right, here's where we ended up. Postino. It reminds me of Positano in Italy. But it's so cute. We got outdoor seating. It's kind of warm, but it's freezing inside. So it's just, this is our choice. I'm excited and very hungry. All right, so we ended up sharing a bunch of stuff. We got four different toasts. This one is like um, hummus and tomatoes. This one is some kind of cheese. Oh, spicy peppers. This is prosciutto and some kind of cheese. And then salami and something else. And then we got grilled cheese with soup and... Uh, Sweet potato fries. Yeah, this all looks amazing. <laughs> we ate dinner and now we're like, eh, 
We don't have to go out drinking and partying. We didn't even start yet. You should... <laughs> so we're driving by the Bar Louis. That I said Bar Grazi. I meant Bar Louis before, by the way. Um, and then the restaurant we went to. Hold on, let's start by here first, and then I'll talk to you guys. I don't hear any music. This is he's a dud. No DJ. DJ's in there. He's right there. Look, he's just setting it up. Look. It's ten o'clock. He's right? not doing anything. We're not missing out on nothing. Bar Louis. Oh, I hear it. Oh, we would be the only one dancing. <laughs> Well, we had fun for the most part. Okay, yeah. So we had fun, but um, we were going to go to this like uh, Mexican food spot, and then the wait was 20 minutes. So we were like, oh, we're near so many restaurants. Let's just go try something else across the way. So we went to this other restaurant, um, and it was like fine. It was nothing spectacular, though, but we ended up getting like, they like little bites. So we got like a bunch of like bread with stuff on top. I showed you guys what it was, but the worst part is that they only had wine or beer. It. so I didn't even have a drink so <laughs> we're just going back home <laughs> and this is like we should have expected that we would do this honestly like I told Chris who did we, we think left. we are like well, yeah we're we gonna, gonna eat and come back dancing like yeah no okay if we walked by there and it was popping maybe I would have well yeah. we probably still wouldn't have Chris would be like oh you're back so soon and I would have never thought <laughs> who would have guessed you would have ate and then wanted to lay down that's us you you too <laughs> <laughs> have a taco bell just get the little cinnamon twist for dessert and then sissy got a taco so i was like well i might as well get a taco because all we had at dinner was bread <laughs> this is funny i should have brought my camera Eat your taco. i like to have Mm. <laughs> Hello, okay, we're back at my sister's house now. I am about to go take a quick body shower. I need to rinse off this tan, wash my face, hair is staying because I just got it freshly done, so that's fine for the next, like, two days. Yeah, we should have known that we were not going out. Like, come on, especially after we eat, but the place we went to was just, like, light bites, so, yeah, we went to Taco Bell, and it was great. It hit the spot. Tomorrow's my sister's bridal shower, so I need to get in bed. I don't know how I'm still functioning because I slept for like five hours and 45 minutes, my aura ring said last night. And I've been going to bed so late and we're an hour behind here. So it's 11 here, but it's 12 at home. I don't know how I'm still functioning. I've been up for so many hours and I traveled today that it just like kills you. So I'm going to go get in the shower. I feel like this trip is so good for me it's already so good for me like i don't know my sister and i were just driving home and i was like just having like those good like belly laughs and it just felt so good to just laugh and let go and be on like a little vacation i can't wait for zane and i to go to italy that's gonna be so fun but yeah i'm loving this hair too i just feel so like free like it feels right in this moment at first i was like "Ooh, am i giving like willy wonka is this like not for me but now that I've been like wearing it more, I'm like, I'm kind of loving it. So anywho, all okay, right, I really need to get in a shower and then I'm going to snuggle up in bed. Probably read a little bit before I go to bed because I am like halfway through the book now. And it's really good. I'm reading The Inmate by Frieda McFadden. No, I'm not. I'm reading, I'm reading The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. The Inmate is one of her other books, but I'm not reading that right now. The Housemaid, so much drama is going on. I just got to the part where if you read the book, you know like halfway through where she does that thing that she shouldn't have done and i'm like ooh, this is not gonna end well for you so yeah it's pretty good i'm like positioned so awkwardly like in my jeans like leaning over i don't know why but okay i'll see you guys tomorrow oh good morning for my little humble abode i've just been sitting in bed because i don't do that at home i get up and i start my day so i was like you know what i'm on vacation i'm staying in bed i've been editing some little reels and doing stuff like that for social media just enjoying my morning i was excited to post some reels so i just got some short form content up just got all of my morning supplements so i'm gonna take those I'm gonna start getting ready for today so I can go help my sister start setting up. Her party starts at two. It is now 10, 12 a.m. So I'm gonna do my makeup, get all cutesy. It is a high of 96 degrees today. And it's the first day of fall. Today's literally the first day of fall. And Zane was like, oh, well, it feels like fall here. I'm like, not here. It's so hot. Luckily, my sister is having the party inside because she does not play with this heat. She's like, it is way too hot outside. She set me up with a sippy cup. I'm like, I need a sippy cup for my travels. I didn't bring my Stanley. So she set me up with this one. This was their dog, Bella. She just unfortunately passed a few months ago. And that's why they fostered a new dog and they ended up keeping her. So I'm so happy for them. Okay, my sister is getting her makeup done right now. She's doing a trial for her wedding on the day of her shower, which is so smart. So yeah, that is the plan for the day. Let's get it going. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this hair. Oh my God, I haven't tried to put it in a pony yet. That's 
hysterical. It's gonna be clip style for sure. Well, not today. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it down. It's doing well. I feel like it's held like a sta decent style. So I don't think I even need to do anything to it. I might just do like some hairspray to like volumize it and stuff. But other than that, this is the easiest hair I've ever done and I am here for it. All right, we're set up shop, getting ready. Got my little mirror. Look at my getting ready guest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you better put this thing on for her right now. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Zayn was just looking for Benj and look where he found him. Upstairs, like he owns the place. Okay, where's Bailey? She's gotta be right here, right? Muggies? Oh, she likes that chair. Oh no, she's not there. Bailey? She's under the bed. Muggies, what the heck? Maybe she's with, she's probably with Ben. Just oh, she's probably under the bed in that room. Where's your sister? There she is. Let me see. Hi, Muggs. Bailey? <laughs> okay, I just wrapped up most of my makeup. My brows are looking a little questionable, but we're working on it. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm gonna see like how it all looks after I finish my lashes, but we're gonna try these. They're the Impress Press On Falsies pre bond technology, no glue needed. I'm not good at fake lashes, and I feel like if I were to be able to do anything, this would be it. So we're gonna attempt, I got them on Amazon, they're called natural, and apparently you put it underneath your natural lashes, and it just like, you stick it, and then you squeeze it with this little tool, and it sticks on. I'm a little nervous, but I think today's the day to try it out. We have a minute to do it. It's my sister's bridal shower. Let's attempt. So I'm gonna pick it off of the package, like so. And then I'm gonna put it under, under. I'm scared. Oh no, I already messed it up. That wasn't on. Okay, let's try again. I feel like I can't really see for some reason. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna hold this mirror right here. That's way better. Oh no! So far this is a terrible attempt. Maybe I should use this hand? No, definitely not. I feel like I need two hands maybe. Why can't it go on top? Why does it have to go underneath? Oh, that was it, that was it. Oh my God, I did it! Wow, baby. You see it? Look at those lashes. I'm gonna put mascara over them too, but I'm gonna put like two on the end. I think I did it. This one has like a big clunky piece that makes me nervous. I'm gonna just leave it. Okay, one more. Oh, it came off. Oh. All right, I got two on. I feel like two's enough right at the edge and then I'll mascara the rest of my lashes. I'm not mad at that. Final look, what do we think? I actually think the lashes look so good. I used the Grande Lash Serum, so my eyelashes are already pretty long, but I feel like this just elevates like the end of them, like the tiniest, most perfect amount. I think it looks really good. And I got the hang of it. I was just like, just go for it. Stop being like nervous, like touch your eye and stuff. And I just like went for it. I squeezed them on and I feel like it looks really, really good. Oh, I'm so happy with it, yay. Okay, so it is just now before 12 o'clock, so. I just got into some casual clothes. I'm gonna help my sister set up and everything. And then once we get towards party time, I'll get into my dress and stuff. So let's go help sissy. I think I'm gonna steal a bite too to eat. I'm gonna fill up my little sippy. And I think I'll like style my hair a little bit when I get dressed, maybe put a few fresh curls in it or something, or just put some more volume in it. We'll see how I feel. First up, we've got this game with all celebrities' faces, and then some of them are gonna have her fiance's face. So we have to put the stickers on top and you scratch them off. Let's do it.
Okay, hello. We had a lovely time tonight. Everyone has left. We've cleaned up like 75% so that it's not horrible tomorrow. And my sister gave everyone like a goodie bag. Like when they won a game, she had like a lot of fun games. As you saw, we did the hot dog throwing. Hysterical. Like the fact that it landed in my shirt. My sister was just great at throwing. I really just did her dirty with my throwing skills. Like it did not even land near her face, but we had such a fun time. And so she gave everyone like little goodie bags and she was like, I'm excited to give you yours. I hope you like it. I was like, what could it be? And I opened it up. You guys, she got me a book. How cute is that? Like my sister does not like to read. She just knows I love to read. And she got me this book, which is literally, I just checked my Goodreads. I'm like, this sounds really familiar. Like I've wanted to read this author. This exact book is on my want to read list. And she didn't know that. Like, how adorable is that? So, I am so happy. It's so cute. So they had a lot of yummy food, but it was like kind of like noshing stuff. So we were like hungry. So we ended up just ordering Chick-fil-A just now. So I got a salad and a mac and cheese because balance. So I'm excited to eat that because I feel like all day I've been popping like eclairs and I've been popping um, grapes and brownies and chips and dip. Like, I feel like I haven't had like a meal. So I'm excited to have a nice solid meal it is now 8 55 p.m i'm crashing i'm just exhausted i'm like ready to relax so i'm gonna start getting ready for bed tomorrow is beyonce i'm very excited it's gonna be a lot of fun 
good morning happy sunday i'm feeling like i need some movement today so I'm gonna go on a walk i actually was about to go downstairs and ask my sister hey i'm going for a walk do you want me to bring melvin the dog and then i like just somehow looked out the window and i saw her and her fiance leaving to bring the dog on a walk so i just texted her and i was like wait i was about to ask you and it's better if i go with them in an unfamiliar neighborhood than like by myself you know so she's like come down we're coming back so we're gonna go on a little morning walk with the dog it's really hot but i'm ready for it i need a good sweat i'll probably go longer than they do they'll probably come home but wear a hat no it's fine okay we're going on a walk good morning <laughs> Are we on a morning walk? <laughs> Aww. On my morning walk, the dog is old. He's like 10. And uh, my sister and Chris were like, all right, we're done. If you want to go, here's the path. So we live near like a golf course. So I am walking the golf course now by myself for a minute. It feels really good actually to be in the heat. There's a good breeze, so it's not too bad. Um, but it feels so good to just get outside. I needed to move my body. Good morning. Okay. You're not gonna like attack me, right? Okay. Bye. <laughs> These guys are everywhere. <laughs> okay, back at my sister's. I've got the setup right here. My leftover salad from yesterday. Hopefully, it's not too soggy, but it sounds cold and refreshing. Got my ice roller, and I put fresh ice in my sippy. I threw my socks and shoes off, and uh, yeah, vibing. Okay, hello guys. Updates. We've just been like chilling around the house all day. Sissy's doing some organizing. I was doing some editing on some like little short form content, getting that all settled because I've been taking a million videos, a million pictures, and then I get like overwhelmed because my camera roll is just full of all this random stuff. So I kind of went through and like organized everything. Um, still chilling in my little onesie that I went on a walk with this morning. And it is now 333. Look at that. And I'm talking to Aaliyah. She's catching me up on her college fun. And it's time for a little midday mimosa. Uh, we have to pop the champagne, Sissy? A brand new one? Yeah, we drank one already. Oh, okay. I need a shower. I look like I've been through it. You have to yeah. pop. You have to shake it. You don't have to shake it. You don't shake it. No, I said I'm not. Oh, okay, I guess it should, it. it should be. If it was shaken, it would pop, no? It's gonna pop. I feel the pressure. Yeah, the metal piece has to be broken. Don't, don't cut your hand. Want me to do it? No. I don't know who the fuck you're yelling at. She have patience. <laughs> oh, it's so anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, it spilled it all over herself. Okay. Careful. Oh, there's pieces of foil in there. There's foil in my drink. We're going downhill. I drank it. Did it? I don't know about that. Might have. You just got it all over yourself. What happened? Fresh orange juice from H-E-B? Head? All the champagne you're gonna use? It looked like it was full because uh, of the foam. The foam. Damn. Oh my god. Get me out of here. I'm causing a ruckus. Yeah, this is going to be done to get for you. Oh, shit. My bad. You should've told me. That's okay. He walked in here. He's like this crazy bitch talking he, like, to herself. <laughs> yeah, he did. He was like, oh, forget it. <laughs> Cheers. You know you've matured when you can drink pulp in your orange juice. My sister's fiance is about to cook a seafood boil. That was my one request when I came here because it's so good here. And they were like, oh, we make it at home. And I was like, okay, sign me up. So he's about to make some crab, potatoes, corn. Mm, it's gonna be so good. Got the potatoes, the sauce, the onions. Got all this crab, oh my God. So you got snow crab and then the Dungeness. Yeah. Never had that before, I'm excited to try it. Yum. Yeah, I'm excited. I love crab, so I'm here for it. As long as it's not soft shell. Oh. Yeah, that one's gross. <laughs> and the corn. I'm good with like a, like a medium. Yeah, not too spicy, yeah. I'll do two different kind of set. A mix of both, okay, perfect. Yay! Are you gonna have some crab? Got on my eye patches. I've got a midday mimosa. Not not too much, but a little bit is fine. Just a little, just a little bit. I keep going inside and outside because outside is 98 degrees. It feels like it's 106, but it's funny because my sister's fiance's mom 
was joking saying that she has to go outside to thaw out and i'm like literally that's so accurate you have to go defrost because inside the house is freezing but then outside is so hot like a sauna so every like hour or so i pop outside and even like the restaurants or the stores too like everywhere is blasting the air conditioner so there's like no in between so you just have to defrost every once in a while and i think that's so funny but chris is cooking seafood boil i'm so excited i'm just doing a little bit of um computer stuff just getting ready for tuesday's vlog so i can just enjoy the rest of the trip because tomorrow we're going to galveston so i want to get tuesday's vlog watched and ready to be uploaded and we have a little bit of downtime we're gonna eat and then get ready for beyonce so exciting clearly i need to get ready because we're looking like a hot mess express wow look at this the corn and potatoes this is butter mm -hmm. what's this uh, that's uh, limes and salt and pepper. Oh, lime, salt, pepper, the crab. Hello, everyone. I just want to pop on really quick because I'm filming like a get ready with me for short form content. So I didn't want to leave the vlog hanging, but I'm just about to go put a few curls in my hair. I just got dressed for Beyonce. We are kind of like rushing out of here. We want to leave in a little bit. I'm going to see if my sister has like something, like a quick steamer or something. But I'm doing this silver dress with the cowgirl boots and just gonna throw some curls in this hair and my sister is lending me one of her bags that's like brown because i feel like that goes with the vibe i didn't really bring a bag that would match so i'm not gonna bring my camera not allowed you're not allowed to bring a camera with detachable lenses so i'll be vlogging on my phone let's go to beyonce <laughs> Okay, hello. We need an after Beyonce debrief together. First things first, we're starving. It is 2.25 in the morning, which means it is 3.25 in the morning at home. I haven't stayed up this long in a really long time. I am exhausted. She, okay, so it said on the ticket that the show starts at 8 o'clock. She didn't go on until like 9.45, 9.50-ish. But she performed for almost three hours. Like, I'm exhausted just from being awake. How did she even do that? That's wild. So many outfit changes. Meg Thee Stallion came out only for like literally a minute. She did her verse on Savage. Blue Ivy came out, which was a lot of fun. She played so many good songs. Like, it was a performance. My ears are like ringing right now, but it was a show. The only thing I will say she didn't do is, you know when you go to a show and like the artist will like pause and like take a moment to like tell a story to the audience or like talk to them or something. She didn't really do that. She just did like quick little thank you guys 
make some noise kind of things. And I do like when celebrities do that, but I think she knows that everyone was there for like, like play all the bangers, like keep the show going, the theatrics of it all. But it was so, 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 so much fun. Like my sister and I had a blast. We were first row of the top section. So we were really far away. Like she looked like a little dot, but the screen was huge. So we were able to see that at least. And just being in the atmosphere was like, amazing but i love being the first row of a section because then no one's in front of you you know that's like amazing so needless to say we had dinner at five o'clock so i was starving so we got whataburger which i've had a few times now i had twice when i came to texas for the first time because i loved it that much i got it again and then i came with my sister when she picked me up from the airport and i landed so late it was like very late at night like after midnight i think and it was bad but i remember like really loving it the first time i had it so i was like i need a redo like that wasn't fair and i thought it was because it was late at night but just so happens that it just like was not good that time because it's way later now it, we got this at like 2 a.m and it's phenomenal mm. the best way that i like to describe it which people don't like this is a huge compliment in my book because i'm a mcdonald's stan it is an elevated mcdonald's i already ate all the fries but they're like a thin fry like mcdonald's they were so hot I had to eat them in the car. So hot, so salty. And the burger also reminds me of McDonald's, just like a little bit elevated. So good. And we ordered on the app and then we just went through the drive through and just got it. It was already done. So that's nice. I have an absurd amount of content from today. Like, why do I do that to myself? I don't know. Oh, and everyone's outfits? Oh my God, people go in. It was like silver sparkles galore and like, no one cared. People were wearing heels, stilettos, thongs. People were in it all. It was really fun to people watch there. I think that's everything. It was a nightmare walking out as always. It's like the worst part of concerts and you never want to leave early. And then you, you think you're leaving early and then all of a sudden it ends. Like that's what happened to us. I was like, go now. And then she was off the stage. I thought there was gonna be like an encore. There wasn't. <laughs> oh, and also last thing, and then I'm gonna go to bed. We both just got one drink each and it was so not good. Like mine was like spicy and my sister's was like smoky, but at least they got us like a little bit of a tipsy feeling for a little bit. So it did its job, you know? My ears are ringing so bad and I still need to take off my makeup, but I, 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 I gotta go to bed, I gotta go to bed. Good morning, happy Monday. We are heading out to Galveston for the night and then I fly home tomorrow. So I'm gonna get everything packed up, make this room less of a mess get all my garbage out of here and while i do all that i'm gonna finish up watching tomorrow's vlog while i pack so let's get ready to head out i left all my stuff over here and i think a fun part about these packing cubes is now i can pack differently when i'm going home i'm gonna use like one cube for stuff i've already worn and then i can just leave in the suitcase and then my other clothes that i I'm gonna wear can go in another one. Keeps it super nice and organized. Well, I guess if you're transferring from one spot to another on vacation, if you're just going home, I guess it doesn't really matter. Or all the stuff that you need to put in the laundry can go in one, whatever. It's just a lot easier to organize stuff. checking in we started to make our drive to Galveston and then we were like well, we're too hungry to wait so I was like let me just find something on the way and we found a barbecue spot I didn't look up too many reviews but it seemed like decent like the two that I saw and I was like you know what let's just try something new so when in Texas I wanted to get barbecue so I was like here's my chance let's get barbecue for lunch so I'm gonna get some beef brisket some mac and cheese some uh, glazed carrots I have to get this while I'm here. Yeah, that looks that great. Looks cool. Yeah. Barbecue is honestly my least favorite food category. But, but <laughs> in Texas, it goes up a few notches, to be honest. Oh my God, you guys, here's what I got. I got a combo of brisket and then this like sticky pork belly, it's called. Comes with bread, pickles, onions. I got glazed carrots and the mac and cheese. This looks so good. Sorry, we're seated right next to the other people. <laughs> Let's do a taste test. Good? 
Oh my god. You know what it tastes like? Yep. I said, do you know what it tastes like? Oh, but I didn't <laughs> yes, you can have one. And then the next mm -hmm. like, full of spare ribs from Chinese. Mm -hmm. Exactly what it tastes like. I just knew a sticky sauce, like sign me up. Mm -hmm. Brisket. Mmm. So good. Carrots. Mmm. Fire. Mac and cheese. Fire. Wow, this place is great. Mm. I wonder if this is a chain. Yeah. Oh no. I, I wonder if people from Texas are gonna be watching this and be like, that place is the shit, place before, or that place sucks. I can't believe you like it. I've been to a few places, barbecue places, every time I come to Texas, so I have like other stuff to compare it to here. The place Dane and I went in Austin, I think it was. Oh no, it was a little bit outside of Austin. I'll figure it out and I'll put it on the screen. That place was the best. Phenomenal. But this is really good. That place is mad far from us right now, so we weren't all over there. All right, that was 10 out of 10. We got a little to-go box, and then for dessert, my sister got the Mississippi Mudslide. Is it great? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, howdy do, that was delicious. And we got a mint on the way out. It did have the red stripes. They were gone. have made it. We are staying at the San Luis Resort. Louis? San Luis. San Luis Resort. When you walk in to the right is the bathroom. Look at this. They have a little chair with vanity. How amazing is that? Toilet, shower. We're staying on floor 10. My sister's fiance booked this for us. He wanted to give it to us and apparently we're on a floor where you get all these amenities, which is cool. Free breakfast, all that. Got full length mirror right here. We Always appreciate a full-length mirror. Got our bed, a couch, little desk, and then it's like the little TV coffee area. And we got a balcony. <laughs> wow, how nice is this? Overlooking everything. Beautiful. All right, we just got into our bathing suits. Ready to go to the pool and relax for a little bit. Oh my God, we were just walking to the pool and I didn't realize <laughs> he just yelled hi at me. It scared the shit out of me. Hi! <laughs> oh my god, that scared me so bad. Got a pina colada. Yum! Oh, I need to vlog that. Okay, we relaxed by the pool for a little bit. I, ever since we had that barbecue, I've just felt so tired. And I had like Xan on my shoulder. I was like, what is it? I have barely had water today. So I am making sure to drink some water right now. Just got dressed, we're gonna go have a little dinner. I'm honestly still super full and I had a pina colada by the pool. So I'm not super hungry. I'm just gonna get like a light bite at the restaurant that we're going to. I put on these jeans and then this top is from Amazon and I'm wearing my Birkenstocks because uh, no other shoes are, are just, oh, I could do my cowgirl boots. That would be kind of cute, but oh, yeah. it's kind of casual, so it's fine. I just throw on like the tiniest bit of makeup. My hair is still not washed from Thursday and it is Monday. So definitely tomorrow when I get home, it needs to be washed or the next day because I land really late, so I'm going to be tired. But yeah, that's the fit, my green purse. It is quite actually downpouring outside, so we're just gonna stay in our oh, <gasps> hotel. It. No, I saw it, I was coming. You got it? Yeah. Look <gasps> over here, look how pretty you can oh. see the water. Oh. It's not downpouring though. No. Wow. wow. You can see the clouds, it's cool. Is it like, Whoa. there's boats back there, you see the lights on? The cruise ship must be. Oh yes. I thought that was a Galveston star. Port. I feel like every time I come to Texas, it rains. Have you like your wedding night and this is happening right now? Mm -hmm. Are you freaking out? You're freaking out. Yeah, 100%. They say it's good luck though if it rains no, on your wedding. That, I don't know. Who made that up? Uh, I don't know about that rule. I'm off. I don't care about the luck. I've got enough luck. <laughs> ah! right, here's go. the lightning. Here's the thunder. Ready? Ready? One, two. Nope. That was a silent one. I feel like you could have like a one-way party right here. I know, I feel like right? they need something. It's like the something. roof of the entrance, but... You have your wedding up there. Your wedding on top of there, yeah. Right there. <laughs> okay, we'll literally scratch all that because we went downstairs to the restaurants and it's freezing in here. Ever... Did you see that lightning? Everywhere in Texas, they keep it so cold. It is ridiculous. There's no 
middle ground here. So forget it, this is the only warm item that I brought. So now I went from like a cute corset to casual hoodie, and that's just how it's gonna have to be. Oh my God, this storm is crazy. The lights just flickered in the hotel lobby. Wild. Honestly, I'm so much more comfy now, so I'm not mad at this. Where is that? Oh, they have an occasion that we're not invited to. We were like, we hear a club somewhere. Oh my god, the lightning is crazy. All right, Sissy and I split a Greek salad with chicken. They actually were nice enough to split it on two different plates for us, even though we were sharing one dish. And we got a chicken quesadilla. Perfect. Came to this random little spot in the hotel. It's called Blake's, I think. Or no, that's the place next door. What is this? Oh, you know, it is called Blake's. Okay, 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 this is Blake's. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is 9.37 a.m. Checkout is at 11. I'm just getting today's vlog uploaded. Hopefully it will. I don't know, this Wi-Fi is kind of slow, so I don't know if we're gonna make it in time, but I'm gonna try my best. And we got our breakfast room service. I got two eggs, some potatoes. Where's my toast? Oh, where is your toast? Oh, I need to dip my toast in my eggs. Oh no. Oh, that's so upsetting. I picked white, white toast. We got fruit platters. Oh, there's a lot of fruit. Strawberries. Sissy got a waffle. Mmm, potatoes are good though. <laughs> all right, all packed up and ready to go. We're gonna do a little shopping and then Sissy's gonna drop me at the airport and we're heading home. I'm wearing a hat today because the hair is not hairing. I usually don't like hats, but today I need it. <laughs> bye bye. Hi. Hi. Did a little shopping at our hotel. We only had like two little stores and I wanted to go to like a little. You know, so wow, I got it on camera. <laughs> I wanted to go to like a souvenir, like cheesy little shop. Maybe get like a sweater or a t-shirt or something. Yes, this is exactly what I was picturing. <laughs> okay, that store had nothing. Next stop on our adventures is Goodwill. We're just killing time, it's 11.43 and I don't have to leave for my flight until like two o'clock. I'm showing to see this trend. I think she would love it. You ghostify a thrift store picture. So that's the original, see? And then look, she adds little ghosties to it oh my God, that one would be perfect you put a ghost in you the, could put in ghosts the in there and put like little pumpkins i look she put a black cat and that's that such cute. a cute trend yeah i probably would never be able to do it but i think you can for I'm sure one. that one's huge where are you gonna put that you that like a smaller one like, that one you could do for sure you halloweenify white, it in there. yeah but you add in darker colors it's called thrifted ghost painting look people did this one. Oh my god that's so cute it works out perfectly with the thrifted pictures yeah. You could look behind them too. Look, there's yeah. a ton. I think you you would do great at that. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. So see, look, you can add like little pumpkins to them. See, that one's perfect. All right, update you guys. We found one. I think this is perfect. I think you should put witch hats on them. You can put pumpkins. Put like a bunch of like orange and yellows in the trees. Yeah. You can add little pumpkins down here. You can add the cat. You can make it really, really cute. It's five bucks. That frame is really pretty too. You can even paint the frame. You could paint the frame black. black. Yeah. I expect an update, okay? I want to see the finished product. Next stop, Dolphin World. You could get a shrimp po' boy and a t-shirt. Oh, wow. Wow. I see brown tie-dye. That other store had nothing compared to this. Do you see the sweater of mine? <laughs> brown tie-dye? I was gonna say, it's kind of giving camo, not in a good way. Yeah, actually, it's not, it's not giving what I wanted it to give. It looks like someone spilled coffee all over. <laughs> the yellow is fun. I do want a crew neck though. These are all hoodies. I don't know if they have any crew necks. This is a large. You don't want it to be too tight, right? You don't want it to be. No, I like a big, the hot hair. We're here for it, we're here for it. Comfy, midnight fires. Midnight? Well, maybe not midnight. It's comfy. It's cute. Yeah. All right, it was cute, but I decided against it because one, it looks like it's gonna pill really bad. And two, I don't particularly need like Galveston merch, you know. Last stop, we're going to the good old Tanger Outlets. And then we're heading to the airport. I got a cute shirt from American Eagle. I'll show you guys what we get in the car. They had this cute like um, Halloween sweater that I showed you guys, but it was $60. I was like, I don't like it that much. It was my favorite chocolate brown color. No, I didn't, but it had like little skeletons and pumpkins walking on it. It was cute, but it was like 60 bucks. I was like, I'll only wear it during the season. You know, like, I wouldn't wear it all year round, so that's fine. Old Navy find, $12, they're on sale. Just simple long sleeves, they're really soft. So I got a small and a medium to see what fits. Okay, we're finding some good stuff today. All right, this is a small. I think this is perfect. It's got a little bit of wiggle room. 
especially once I wear like a bra or something. I think this is a perfect like layering piece for fall. It's very soft. You can put like a vest, a jacket, whatever. I'm gonna get it in like a few colors. I definitely need like a refresh. I need to wash my hair and stuff. I never did yesterday, so. All right, here's what I ended up getting. I got that shirt in green, like a beigey, brownish, grayish, are we surprised? And then like a creamy white color. And then for American Eagle, I rented a shirt really similar to this from Newly once and I haven't forgotten about it. I loved it and I should have bought it, but I didn't. So I found this one, it was like 35 bucks, like a band tee and it's got like a creamy color in the background. Love it. I think it's already oversized because I got the extra small small and it looked pretty big. So that's what I got. I'm gonna shove it in my backpack and then I'll just carry my pillow so everything fits in there and we are heading to the airport so i'm gonna end this travel vlog here thank you for hanging out with me in texas i hope that you guys enjoyed it we had a blast we did so much and i'm ready to be home Zana's picking me up at newark today because i booked my flight wrong and he has to go to new jersey to pick me up but i don't land until like 9 p.m so i got a long travel night ahead of me so i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye guys Good morning, babe. <laughs> so good, good. To the, the backpack. Hello. I, think I just went back into the airport. <laughs> so, so, so awkward. Yeah. yeah. Everyone stares at you. <laughs> Sensual sacks for love. That's what that's called. Sacks. Sensual. Saxophone. Oh. Sax like a ball sack. Ow. Poke the shit out of myself. She's giving us money. A dildo. It's not a dildo. Yeah. A dildo. Yeah. I got two on. On. Nice to know you. Oh, I thought they were coming out real quick. Ow. <laughs>